Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Divit and in the next 15 minutes, I'll be giving you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how you can create Shopify stores that look like this. I'll cover all of the details in terms of how you can add products onto your Shopify store so that they appear on checkout like this, how you can go ahead and set up your shipping and delivery, how you can go ahead and set up your refund policy, your terms and conditions, how you can go ahead and set up your payment information so that you can actually collect payment from customers, and then things like how you can go ahead and put in your domain name, connect it to Shopify, and just pretty much everything that you need to know to set up your store, I'll cover in this video. So if that interests you, then stick around, subscribe, and let's get into today's video. Now to get started, the first thing we're going to do is create our Shopify account. I've added a link in the description. If you go ahead and click that link, you'll be directed to this page, which will give you Shopify's best welcome offer currently. Right now, the offer is basically you get Shopify for free for three days. And then after that, you get to get Shopify for $1 a month for the next three months on select Shopify plans. All right, so it's the best offer available and it supports the channel at no added cost to you. So once you're on this page, just go ahead and put in your email address and press the start free trial option, and then we'll go on to the next steps. Now, once we've entered our mail, the next step over here is to just go through some of these steps. We can just go ahead and press, I don't want help setting up because I'll show you how to do everything. So we can just go ahead and skip this. So we can see over here after we press that button, now it's telling us to pick a plan. Now we can go ahead and choose a plan right now, or you can go ahead and decide to actually choose a plan after you create your Shopify store. Now, one thing to keep in mind, everyone, is if you don't click a Shopify plan or don't choose a Shopify plan, you cannot go live with your Shopify store. So it's important that you do have a plan if you actually do want to go live and sell products. So I recommend just going ahead and clicking the plan right now. If you don't like Shopify, you can go ahead and cancel it. You won't be charged at all. It's free for the first three days and then just $1 a month for the next three months. Now, the plan that I recommend for most beginners is this first plan right here, which is the basic plan. So just go ahead and select that. And then just go ahead and put in your credit card information. I'm just going to go ahead and do this right now. And I'll see you on the other side. Now, once you've selected a plan, the next step over here is to just go ahead and put in your business address. So just go ahead and do that and press the save business address option. So once we have that completed, now we're directed to Shopify's dashboard. And this is basically where all of the magic happens. We can see on the left, we have all of the different settings we can go ahead and play around with to actually create and launch our store. And then over here, they're just giving us some tasks to complete as a setup guide, which we can go ahead and ignore and do ourselves. Now, with that in mind, the next thing I want to talk about is let's go ahead and press this online store option over here. This is basically where your store is going to be located, and this is how you can go ahead and customize your store. Now, the very first thing over here we're going to go ahead and do in our online store is go to our theme library to go ahead and add a theme. Now, for those of you that are complete beginners to Shopify and don't know what a theme is, basically it's a pre-made template by Shopify that it provides to you that you can just go ahead and put onto your e-commerce store, which then helps just make designing and customizing your store a lot easier. So we can see right here that Shopify has currently pre-installed the theme Dawn, which is a free theme. If you don't like this particular theme, you can go ahead and choose all of the different free themes right here. So these are some of the popular free themes. You can just go ahead and select. If you want to go ahead and take a look at their paid themes also, you can press this visit theme store option, which will basically take you to this page over here where you can browse all of their free and paid themes. So you can go ahead and, for example, press the free option right here. You can choose a particular theme. You can get all of the information about the theme in terms of everything that it offers you, the reviews, what people are doing. And then you can go ahead and even try the theme or view demo store. So if I go ahead and press view demo store, this is basically what the theme looks like. It's a very straightforward theme. You can even take a look at it on the mobile device. All right. So if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and press try theme and this will be your basic theme. For this particular video, the theme that I recommend is the Dawn theme. So the one that's already installed It's the easiest and most customizable theme to install for free. So just go ahead and try that one out. So let's go back to our Shopify dashboard. We're happy with our theme. It's currently installed. We don't need to do anything. Now we can go ahead and actually customize it. So to customize your theme, you can go ahead and press this customize option right here, which will basically take you to this page right here, which is Shopify's theme builder. In the center over here, you have the different sections in your page, right? So this is actually what's going to show up on your store. On the left over here, you have the different settings you can go ahead and play around with. So you can go ahead and put in different sections, headers, buttons, all of that stuff you can add right here. So the very first thing I want to talk about before we actually go ahead and, you know, create new sections and customize this page is I want to show you how you can preview this particular page. If you want to go ahead and preview it on a mobile device, you just go ahead and press this button on the top right, which will basically show you what it looks like on a mobile device. And then it can show you what it looks like on a desktop device. If you go ahead and press this full screen option, it will basically show you exactly, you know, cover your entire screen and what your store looks like on full screen basis. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose the desktop option. And now we can go ahead and, you know, actually customize it and put some stuff onto it. Now, it's important to understand that pages on Shopify are basically divided into sections. All right. So you can go ahead and add different sections. And then based on that, in those sections, you can add different blocks, button, text, so on and so forth. So let me just go ahead and show you how to do that. So let's say, for example, if I want to go ahead and add a section, I can choose this add section option. Then I can go ahead and choose one of these different options available to you by Shopify. So let's say, for example, I want to have a multi-row section where I can go ahead and display my different products. I can go ahead and just choose it. 
and it's available to me right here. If you want to go ahead and actually take something out of a section, so for example, if you don't want three rows, but you want two rows, you can just go ahead and delete it. And now you only have two rows over here, and it's really that simple. Similarly, over here, I can go ahead and add a row very simply by just pressing this add row option. And again, we have three rows available to you. Okay, so you have all kinds of different sections you can go ahead and play around with. And you can even go ahead and move sections, right? So let's say, for example, if this entire thing, I want to go ahead and put it at the very top, I can do that. And now we can see on my website, the very first thing is this multi-row section. All right, so that's how you can go ahead and just play around with the different sizing and the different placements. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this back over here. And that's basically how you can go ahead and add different sections. Now, the next thing I want to talk about over here is this theme settings option. Now, in your theme setting option over here, you have global settings, right? So these are basically settings that you can change across your entire e-commerce store and not just your homepage. So for example, you can go ahead and put in your logo right here. You can choose your logo width. You can go ahead and change the actual color format for your e-commerce store. So for example, if you want scheme three, scheme two, you can just go ahead and choose that and it will basically make those changes over here. And then similarly over here, you know, your typography, what kind of fonts you want to use across your store, the layout, the animations, anything that you want to go ahead and change on a global scale, you can go ahead and find that information over here. Now I'll go ahead and actually customize this at the end and show you what I did. But for now, we can go ahead and just press the save option to go ahead and save this particular template and then go back into our Shopify dashboard and set up some of our other basic settings. Okay, so let me just go back over here, press the exit option, which basically takes us back to our Shopify dashboard. So now we've had a quick understanding of what themes are and what the theme builder is and how we can customize it using sections, global theme settings, so on and so forth. Now, the next thing I want to talk about over here is how you can go ahead and add products to your store, right? So that's the most important part over here is to actually put products so you can actually go ahead and sell them. And to go ahead and actually create a product, you can just press the products option over here. And then once you do that, you'll be directed to this page where you can go ahead and import existing products from an Excel sheet or a Google sheet, for example, or you can go ahead and add products manually. Or if you're going to go ahead and do drop shipping, you can go ahead and choose a drop shipping app and then just connect it to Shopify. So with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and press the add product option over here, which basically takes us to this page. Now on this page, you have all of the basic settings, right? You have your pricing that you can go ahead and put in. You can go ahead and put in a sale price, the cost per product over here. So let's say, for example, I'm selling a watch for a thousand dollars. I can go ahead and say the cost for that watch was, let's say, two hundred dollars. Shopify will basically calculate the profit and the margin for you directly. OK, so that's really cool. Similarly, over here, you can go ahead and tell Shopify to track quantity. You can go ahead and tell them how many pieces of quantity you have. So let's say I have a thousand quantity. You can go ahead and put that in here and then it will basically just track it every time something is sold. Similarly, over here, you have your shipping information. So you can tell uh, Shopify how much each particular product weighs. So I can, let's just say as an example, one kilogram, and then I can go ahead and add different variants also. So if I have a blue watch, a gray watch, a red watch, so on and so forth, I can just go ahead and put them over here and they'll be available to you. Finally, we have the search engine listing option. So over here, you can go ahead and describe what your product is about to Google. You can add your keyword. So you can just go ahead and put in a title, a description, the exact handle you want for the URL. And then based on that, Shopify will basically just create your page for you. All right. So it's all pretty much very straightforward stuff, guys, in terms of all the different things you can do. You can go ahead and describe your product, give it a title. You can go ahead and you know add the different pictures, give it a category, so on and so forth. Now, one thing I do want to point out over here is that you have this option called collections and collections basically allow you to group different products together. So if you have men's watches, women's shirts, women's clothing, you can go ahead and categorize that based on certain collections, right? So you can go ahead and create collection and I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right. So that's how you can go ahead and add product. Let me just go back over here, press discard. And now once we have that understanding, the next thing I want to talk about very quickly is how you can go ahead and add collections so you can group different products together. So to add a collection, you can just go ahead and press this collection option over here. And then right here, you can go ahead and choose to create a new collection. So let's say, for example, if I want to go ahead and create a new collection, I can press create collection right here and then go ahead and call this, for example, men's watches. And then I can just go ahead and put that in there. And then once I have that in place, I can go ahead and press the save option. Once you have a product actually live, you can go ahead and assign it to this particular collection. and You'll be able to see it right here. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and press the save option right now. So once we have that understanding, the next thing I want to go ahead and talk about is how you can go ahead and set up policies on Shopify. So for example, how can you go ahead and set up your refund policy, your terms and conditions? You can go ahead and do that by pressing the settings option over here. And then once you do that, you have again this page right here, which we talked about at the beginning. Now over here, we can go ahead and select this policies option. And then right here, we can see we have our privacy policy, terms of service, shipping policy, which you can go ahead and set up. So for example, you can go ahead and select this return and refund policy option. And then when you do that, you'll be directed to this page over here. If you go ahead and press this insert template option, Shopify basically creates a template for you for the refund policy, which you can just go ahead and tweak. So for example, if you want to go ahead and make the seven days, you can just go ahead and do that and just make the tweak accordingly. And then based on that, you can go ahead and set up a refund policy within seconds. You can do the exact same thing for your terms of service. You can come over here, press the insert template option, 
go through the process. Shopify just creates it for you and then just go ahead and put in your information that you want. Okay. And then just press the publish option. So that's exactly what you can do for your shipping policy, your contact information, your privacy policy. Just make sure all of that stuff is completed. It's a very, very straightforward process. So once you have that understanding, the next thing I want to talk about is how you can go ahead and set up your shipping rates and zones so that you can deliver to your products to different customers. So to set up a shipping zone, just go ahead and press the shipping and delivery option over here. And then right here, you can go ahead and select this option which says general shipping rates. So right here, we can see that Shopify has already created some shipping zones for me. So it's created a domestic zone for Canada where I live. It's created an international a shipping zone and then one for the US. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and create one for yourself. So let's say, for example, if we want to go ahead and create a domestic zone ourselves, we can just go ahead and press this option, delete it, and we're going to go ahead and create one from scratch by ourselves. So to create a zone, all you got to do is press this add shipping zone option, and then you can go ahead and actually give your zone a name. So again, I'll just call this domestic. And then once you have a zone in place, you can go ahead and choose which country you want to sell to. So in my case, I want to sell to Canada. I can just go ahead and select that and press the done option. So now we've created a zone which is available to you right here. Now, shipping zones by themselves are completely useless. To make it actually worth it, you have to create a rate within that zone. So to create a shipping rate, you can just go ahead and press the add rate option, and then you can go ahead and choose exactly what the rate should be. So let's say, for example, if I just want to set up free shipping, I can go ahead and choose that. I can go ahead and say, you know, I want to use a flat rate. It's going to be express shipping. It's going to cost $0. And then if there's any conditional pricing, you want to go ahead and put in that free shipping only applies for people that pay me more than $100, right? So you can just go ahead and press that over there. And now basically you're offering people free shipping, which is one to two business days for over $100 more in purchases. That's basically how you can go ahead and set up shipping rates and shipping zones. And you can do the exact same thing for US, for international. Just pick your countries, pick your zones, and then put your rate within them. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and press the save option. And now you've created your new zones and they're available to you. So once we have that understanding, the next thing I want to talk about over here is how you can set up payments. So how can you collect payments from customers? And you can do that by pressing this payments option over here. And then you can go ahead and activate Shopify payments. So basically over here, you're telling Shopify that by activating this, you can go ahead and accept credit cards and the different ways that people can actually pay you. If you don't go ahead and set up Shopify payments, then the way that people can actually, you know, buy products from you is through PayPal, which is not the best way to do it. Okay. So I highly recommend you set up Shopify payments. It's a very straightforward process. You just have to go ahead and fill out your information, put in your banking information so that people can actually pay you. Okay. So you can just go ahead and set that up again. Very, very straightforward stuff. And you can do it right here under payments. So now we've set up our payments, we've set up our shipping rates, we've set up our policies. The next thing I want to talk about is how you can go ahead and actually set up your domain. Okay, so if you go to the domain option over here, now we can go ahead and choose a domain for our Shopify store. Or if you already have an existing domain, you can go ahead and press the connect existing domain and then just transfer your domain into Shopify. So I'll show you, for example, if you go ahead and press the buy new domain over here, you can go ahead and choose, for example, I can say Celine new watches, which is my watch brand I can put in here. And if it's available, it'll basically tell me that, okay, this particular domain is not available or available. I can just go ahead and put one, two, three, for example. And now we can see this particular domain is available. I can buy it for $16 per year. So once we have that understanding, I can just go ahead and press the X option over here. And the final thing I want to talk about very quickly is how you can go ahead and set up your navigation menu. And by setting up your navigation menu, you can go ahead and you know put in the different pages so that people can actually click on your about page, your blog, your contact page, so on and so forth. So to do that, you can just go ahead and press the online store option right here, and then go ahead and press the navigation option. And then over here, you can go ahead and choose what your main menu and your footer menu should be. Okay, so if I just go ahead and select main menu as an option right here, I can go ahead and choose home. I can go ahead and add a new menu item. I can, for example, put about us. I can tell it Shopify exactly what it wants to be linked to. If it needs to be linked to a particular page, products, a particular blog, you can go ahead and choose that right here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and press the discard option. But this is basically where you can go ahead and make this change. So let's just go back to our main Shopify dashboard. And then let's go back to our online store. Over here under the pages section, this is basically how you can go ahead and add new pages. So if you want to go ahead and create new pages, you can just go ahead and press this add page option right here and then create a new page available to you on Shopify. And the final thing I want to talk about is this option which says, you know, managing access. So basically right now when you're creating your Shopify store, it's not public to people, right? You have to actually go ahead and tell Shopify to make it public. And to make it public, you basically, like I said at the beginning of the video, you need to have a Shopify plan that you're subscribed to. So that's the very first thing that you need to do. So if you don't have a Shopify plan, go ahead and pick one. And then after that, you can just go over here to preferences under store and then just go ahead and deselect this option, which basically makes your store available to everybody. So if I go ahead and press the save option right now, now it's basically telling me my store is open to everyone and people can actually buy products off me. So now that we have a basic idea of what Shopify is and all of the different settings that we've talked about, now I'll go ahead and actually fill out the information, right? So I'll go ahead and fill out my homepage with some dummy content. I'll go ahead and add a product so that you can see what it looks like in real time visually. 
So here we are everyone, we're back in our Shopify theme builder and we can see right now that I went ahead and actually populated all of the information. So all of the sections we talked about earlier, I went ahead and populated and I added some new sections like for example, this multi-column section right here. I went ahead and put in some dummy images and text. And then right here, I went ahead and added a contact form section. Again, all very straightforward stuff, everyone, by just adding the section over here and then just populating it very easily with all of the data. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at what this looks like on the full screen, this is what it looks like. We can see it looks very clean and very nice. And basically, that's how you can build your own e-commerce store. The final thing I want to go ahead and show you is the products page over here. So this is how I went ahead and actually, you know, populated the product with all the different descriptions, the different images. I went ahead and added some variants right here of white, gold, black, green, blue and then just put different prices for the different variants, okay? So that's basically how you can go ahead and set up your products. That's how you can go ahead and set up your pages on your e-commerce store, and that's why it will look like this. So on that note, everyone, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and press the like button and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in more content like this, then consider subscribing to the channel. That being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.